Hello children today we are going to read chapter number 11 push and pull from the book interactive science class 4 icsc science now let's get started with the chapter reading push and pull let us understand what scientists mean by the words push pull and force to push means to move something by exerting force for example to push the door close as you can see in the picture to pull means to move something towards you sometimes with great effort example to open the door of your refrigerator as you can see in the picture push and pull but what is the difference between push and pull let's read the earth has its own force called gravity gravity pulls things together whereas anti gravity pushes things apart in our solar system gravity from the sun pulls our planets to keep them in orbit but anti gravity would push them apart examples of push are pressing telephone buttons moving of furniture chair and pushing your friend on a swing as you can see in the picture are all examples of push examples of pull are opening a drawer flying a kite we pull the string na no, to fly a kite playing tug of war as you can see in the picture this game is tug of war we pull we pull the opponent through the rope and the one who has a greater pull is the winner and monkey bars are all example of pull so we play uh, tug of war and monkey bars so these are all examples of such that is pull now here is an activity push a table across the room it is probably the easiest thing to do the force was the push you gave it you used your muscles for this if the table was light it was a small force if the table was heavy the force used was greater next is what is force but do you know this children let's read try to push or pull a chair it moves from its original place it means you applied force on the chair to change its position force is a push or pull let us learn more about force what does force do number 1 force is used to move things nothing can move without being pushed activity take a ball in your hand it will not move until you apply force with the muscles of your arm and throw or roll it on the ground number 2 force is also needed to stop moving things a goalkeeper applies force to stop a moving ball number 3 if we need bigger force to move bigger things then we can also use machines for example a crane is used to lift heavy materials number 4 each force has direction it means it moves the thing in a particular direction direction of a moving thing can be changed by applying force for example a bowler throws the ball towards the batsman the batsman applies force with his bat and changes the direction of the ball with the shot that he exerts by the bat next is number 5 force can change the shape of an object Have you played uh, that um, play doh? With the play doh, you apply force and you keep changing the shape of the play doh and making new new things. Let's move further to the next page. Now here is an activity for you. Number one, take some play doh in your hand and press it. It changes its shape. We all have tried this. We can do it further today. We can uh, learn to change the shape. of the play doh exerting force number 2 is pull a rubber band it gets stretched and changes its shape so even push can change a shape and pull can change a shape and push and pull are both of the form of force number 6 is a force can change the speed of a moving object now let's do an activity to understand this try to move a chair in the corridor Ask your friend to join you and move it faster. You applied more force and moved the object faster. 
that means force can change the speed of moving objects agar dheere se karenge kam force lagayenge to dheere dheere object move hoga aur agar hum zyada force lagayenge to moving object ki speed change ho jayegi aur wo jaldi move hoga now what are the types of forces let's read there are many types of forces let us learn in detail number 1 is the muscular force the force you apply with your body is called muscular force the lady is applying muscular force with her hand you can see in the picture now the girl is applying force with her legs it is also an example of muscular force when we do cycling and we apply force with our legs it is again muscular force next is gravitational force the earth has its own force called gravity this force pulls things towards the earth that is why nothing falls off the earth gravity cannot push things activity let's do an activity to understand the gravitational force take a ball and throw it up what happens to it it comes down towards the earth due to gravity number 3 is frictional force force that comes by the rubbing of two objects is called friction or frictional force let's understand frictional force with this activity take a ball and roll it on the ground it stops after covering some distance why did the ball stop there must be some force to stop the moving ball the ball while moving was stopped by two things one the rough grass or particles of soil on the ground and second the air particles that come in its way when any particles or object comes in contact with a moving object the particles or the object applies force on it as a result the speed of the moving object first slows down and finally it stops this force that comes by the rubbing of two objects is called frictional force now why do we slip on a smooth surface this is very important for us to know now let's read smooth surface gives very little friction as a result our feet loses the hold on the surface and we slip so friction is sometimes very important for us next is number 4 magnetic force a magnet has the ability to pull things made of iron towards it so that is only applied on iron make a note activity take a magnet and move it near some small iron nails you will see the nails at once moving and clinging to the magnet Let's read further about magnetic force. Big objects like cars and heavy parts of machines are picked by the crane. Such cranes are filled with an electric magnet. When the electricity is passed through the huge iron object in front, it becomes a strong magnet. The heavy piece of iron is shifted to another place and the electric current is switched off to release the object. Now let's do an activity to understand magnetic force. You too can make an electric magnet. You need some copper wire, big and some small nails and a battery cell of 9 volts. Method: Coil the copper wire around the big nail and connect the two end of a wire to the two terminals of the battery. Now bring some small nails to the bigger nail. The nails will cling to the bigger nail. remove the wire from the cell the small nails will be dropped from the big nail so you can try out this activity and you will get to know about the magnetic force and that is the end of the chapter and after reading the chapter please make a note of these important things now you know that number 1 force is a pull or a push number 2 by applying force we can a pull or push an object b move an object or c change the shape of an object and d change the speed of a moving object number 3 there are different types of forces a muscular force is applied by the muscles in our body b earth has gravity a force that pulls everything towards it c 
when two objects rub against each other frictional force is created d magnets apply magnetic force on objects made of iron now here are some multiple choice questions and you can go through them and the back exercises answers to which are written on the sheet just go through it and understand it you can also do these activities and understand them and there is some extended lesson plan for you on the last page just go through it happy learning